Happy Thursday. Operation Lay My Mom to Rest has been completed yesterday. Planted an orchid, not an outdoor plant, I know, but it was the plant that uh, I often gave, well, I gave my mom for a number of Mother's Days. And as much as she tried, <laughs> it was our joke, she couldn't kill it. It was, those are the plants that always could because you just feed them basically an ice cube a week, sometimes less. And uh, so anyway, I dug a hole, spread my mom's ashes in the hole, planted the uh, orchid atop it next to my father's grave, and, you know, in, in humid Pennsylvania. And then it poured, <laughs> raining yesterday. So I don't know if the orchid survived, but uh, yeah, the thought that counts. And, yeah, everybody's like, it's not a sad thing for me, and uh, it's quite the opposite. I, I mean, not that I'm happy, but uh, peaceful. My mom is, my mom, like, my mom suffered for so long that uh, when she passed away at the beginning of the year, it was, she was, in my opinion, she was returning to her maker, you know, back to source my belief not everybody shares that um, and I you know gratefully we had a great relationship we you know there were certainly things that we didn't get around to discussing about her history that I wish I would have kind of been more proactive but there was nothing left unsaid and uh, so just kind of completing that this journey for myself and for her and it's kind of cool, and the and I posted a picture the other day, or yesterday, of the orchid. It was like so vibrant, vibrantly blue. It was amazing. Um, so, man, if you, I mean, I, I don't have any parents left. If you've got parents and you're, you don't have to be on good terms with them, but I think it's important. At least for me, it was it was really important to just make sure there was nothing left unturned. And we had a great relationship. I can't say the same thing for my father. My father died like 30 years ago and it was, I still am working through a lot of that. Because it, the, the relationship was fractured. It was a sudden death and uh, yeah, there was no real, nothing like closure. I've done a lot of work in the past couple decades <laughs> to uh, to make up for that and to resolve those that relationship from with for myself and you know but I also did a lot of damage as a result of that relationship what I didn't think I needed or got from the relationship which I didn't get you know not it wasn't my father's fault um, he did the best he could you know we and I do the best I can sometimes, and sometimes it's not very good. You know, <laughs> by my stretch, by my measure. So, by someone else's measure, I'm sure that I, I do at times where they're just like, wow, if that guy is doing his best, God help him. So, compassion, compassion. So, uh, but it was cool, you know, there's like three separate stones, my grandfather, my grandmother, and her, bro her sister and her brother, or her sister and her husband, and then my mom, and, or my dad, and my mom's ashes, because she was burnt. None of the other people were. So, burn up, back to the earth. Yeah, man, life's a trip. So, uh, big light, much love, peace.